Hello guys, it's Miss Inve with our last video for the year. Today we're learning about Ming Dynasty vases. So this is just some information that we need to know about the Ming Dynasty and their porcelain vases. The Ming Dynasty ruled China from 1363 to 1644 AD during which China's population will double, known for its uh, trade expansion to the outside world that exaggerates cultural ties with the West. The Ming Dynasty is also remembered for its drama, literature, and world-renowned porcelain. The Ming Dynasty is rightfully famous for its ceramics and especially its cobalt blue and white porcelain produced in such towns as these two here i cannot pronounce them sorry guys still highly prized by collectors today the ming porcelain would have a major influence on the ceramics of many other countries from japan to britain so now what we're going to do is just pretty much look at some of these vases for inspiration so as we go through look at the really defined cobalt blues and different patterns we have floral stripes really intricate little zigzags and other types of designs we have handles all of this is very important when it comes to making these and when we create our own we can make them as individualized as we want so go ahead and take this time just to look through all of this i love this one the little dragon one they're all very pretty not very unique Hello, hello everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing we need is a full sheet of paper, as well as anything blue to color with. I have a blue color pencil and a marker. We can also use blue paint. Blue paint. And before we get started, I'm going to show you guys some examples. You can see that they have these little dots in the middle. I'm going to leave this here. So after we fold our papers in half, you can go back to this part and look at what type of shape that you want. You could do any type of shape, but when we after we fold our papers in half, the only thing we're going to be needing to do is draw half a piece of paper. So these are just our examples. So the first thing I'm going to draw, do is fold my paper in half. You can see me doing that. I'm folding it hot dog so it can be nice and tall. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is take my pencil and I'm going to draw my half. You can see here I have an opening. I gotta keep this next to me so I can kind of see what I want. But we wanna make sure that we are drawing on our closed side. So everything should be near the closed side. See, that's the closed side, that's the open side. I don't want my face facing that way because when I cut it, it will turn into two and not one solid piece. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my shape. It's kind of whatever shape I want. Yours will look different from mine. You could do the same exact shape of mine if you really want to. It's kind of like a butterfly looking shape at first. And then I just kind of cut it out afterwards. I'm going to draw a little handle in here too. Nothing fancy. There we go. I'm going to cut that out later. So I'll be back after I cut mine out. So here we go. This is mine all cut out. I'm going to show you how I make my little handles. I take it, I put a little tiny cut in there, like that. And then all I do is poke my little scissors through and I cut it out. That's if you wanna have handles in it. And you can have handles any shape and this method will still work. It's kinda of hard to have them kinda of small. It's probably easiest to have them super big if we wanna do handles. So here you go. I'm just kinda of gonna show you mine, how it looks like. This is it all done. I'm going to flip it over so I can draw on the side that is not drawn on. And then I'm just going to start my process of designing. Your designs can be absolutely anything. 
You can draw anything that you want. You could draw flowers. You could draw leaves. You can see how I'm drawing leaves. You could draw birds. You could draw, draw, try to draw a dragon, hearts, your family, anything that makes you happy, honestly. So you can use a color pencil. You can use crayons, markers, anything like that. I use a combination of both so I can have nice, thick, prominent lines and lots of little skinny lines. So go ahead and just watch me create my little vase. So here we go. This is my finished product. Ooh, it looks so cool. I also want to give you guys a nice big thank you for joining me all this year. I'll also see you guys next year. Hope you guys had fun being creative with me. I hope you guys have fun doing this project. And I most certainly hope that you guys continue doing all this stuff during the summer too. I'll see you guys next year. Bye!